What's going on guys? My name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today we're going to talk textures. Dreadlabs. So a quick intro into what textures are. Textures can be uh, lots of different things in Photoshop, but the main point where they're used to for album cover designers is uh, to recreate a feel of a certain material. So for example, um, a paper texture will make your artwork feel like it's printed on paper, obviously. And the ones that are used the most in recent times for album cover designers are uh, vinyl sleeve mockups, plastic textures, and paper textures, basically, uh, or grungy textures. I feel like I should kind of address this because uh, I feel like some new designers might not even know why uh, plastic textures are a thing. Um, basically they are done because back in the day when you used to sell vinyls uh, or vinyl records the vinyl sleeve would come in a shrink wrap packaging um, and to recreate that feel a lot of people nowadays use uh, plastic textures. So yeah that's why they uh, you can see these around a lot for album cover designers. And I'm just going to show you how te most textures work and uh, how you can apply them in your artworks. So um, this is the cover that we made in the last quick tip video. Uh, I'm just going to group this and call it cover artwork and turn it into a smart object. So we just use one layer of our uh, artwork here. Um, then I'm going to open up this texture that I uh, scanned in myself. This will be available on Dreadlabs very soon. Um, and I'm just going to drag it into uh, my file here. Um, and as you can see, well, as you cannot see, you cannot really see anything right now because the texture is covering up the artwork. So um, how you can use these to your advantage is by using blend modes. Um, most textures that I work with, I always turn into black and white. Um, so you can just use the dark values or the uh, light values of a certain image. For example, you can see these scratches in here. Um, let's just say that we want to use all the scratches in this um, in this texture uh, to make it look like our uh, cover artwork is covered in paper scratches, or as if it's as if it's damaged. Uh, we can go to blend mode here and click on lighten. And as you can see, the like the normal toned colors will be will look a bit more damaged. Um, uh, you can also use this the other way around um, for multiply as you can see now uh, the light part of the texture will come through but as this is a mostly black texture uh, you cannot see re anything really but if we press command I and we inverse it um, we get this normal the texture will look like this now and once we click on multiply you will get all the uh, scratches but they're now inversed into uh, black um, mainly you just want to use cover uh, textures like this um, and you can use them to give this kind of damaged feel to it which uh, looks pretty awesome if you ask me so if we want to actually show this artwork off on our Instagram and try and make a mock up out of it um, we can use a uh, package that I actually scanned in myself and edited as well let me just bring it up here. So uh, this is a texture that I got from texturefabric.com and uh, I edited this texture so um, my uh, cover artwork has these like paper almost like edges on it like here. Um, so what we can do is we can drag this all the way to the bottom layer and we can use our cover as a clipping mask onto this and we're just gonna resize it accordingly. like this uh, and as you can see the texture is also in the background here right now which you can also get rid of by just clicking on uh, clipping mask here and as a finishing touch we'll just make a black background for now um, so one thing you might notice is that the white edges on there are gone um, what you can do about that is you can change the layer mode of your artwork here so if we put this cover artwork to lighten as well, uh, you can see the edges coming through um, as well as some of the other uh, damaged parts of this texture that I got here. 
So if we really want to make this like uh, almost Instagram worthy, uh, let's just go and grab a plastic texture on it and see if we can make it look like it's actually shrink wrapped. Um, so for the sake of being uh, making your plastic textures look a bit different from all the other ones on Instagram, I provided some scans and we can modify these into custom plastic shrink wrap textures so we can uh, make this look and make it unique every time we make a mock-up of it basically. Um, let's just bring in this one for now and resize it accordingly and immediately put the light, uh, blend mode to lighten and make it into clipping mask and then we're going to resize it and as you can see right now um, we already have the bottom covered in a plastic texture so let's just bring in another one put the blend mode to lighten again and now we're going to transform this so it matches up with the bottom or with the, pro with the top layer here. Um, and now we're just going to uh, reset this uh, blend mode to normal because you can see that there's already shrink wrap going on here and here which doesn't make any sense for now. So we're just going to mask it out uh, with a soft uh, brush. And now we're going to put it back to lighten. I'm going to do the same for the other brush. Get rid of the most detail in the middle because otherwise it might be too intense. Okay, so now that we have done this, uh, we can now properly post this on Instagram as it is a uh, proper mock-up. So yeah, for now, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, these packs will go up on Dread Labs very soon if they are not up already. Um, the project file, as always, will be on Patreon. Um, and if you want some exclusive access or do you have any suggestions for a tutorial or a quick tip, uh, please join us on Discord. Uh, if you send us a DM on Instagram, we can uh, send you the invite link. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video.